guys. So today we're going to be talking about a species that is very often confused with one of the other shark species. We're talking today about the spinner shark, which is Cochorhinus brevi pinna, and it's often confused with your black fin shark. Now, to the untrained eye, it can be very tricky, and obviously with them next to each other, it's easy once you know the little things to look out for. But really, what you're going to look for with them is your black fin does not have black tips on all of this all of its fins which sounds a little bit a little bit stupid that he's called the black tip the spinner shark has got black tips on all of the all of its fins and basically the best place to look is your pre caudal fin so just before you get the tail let's call that the tail you get the little fin on top and bottom like that your black tip your black fin only has a spot on the top your spinner shark has a spot on the top fin and on the bottom fin easiest way to distinguish the two. So if you've got spot bottom and top of those little fins, it's a spinner shark. Now, spinner also has a smaller dorsal than a black fin. So if you have them next to each other, then it's easy to be able to tell the difference. But yeah, that spot is the, the tip. It's the easiest way to tell the difference. Overall, they otherwise they're almost identical. So a very streamlined shark, dark on the top, um, quite a Quite an athletic looking shark if that makes sense. They also jump much like a black fin. They've got very large pick fins, uh, stoutish body but still streamlined, if that makes sense. They look elegant almost. And um, yeah, that, that dark top with the white belly fins and then the black tips on everything. They get to about 2.8 meters. So a fairly large shark. They are fast moving, tropical species. They really enjoy fish and squid. Um, well, tropical and subtropical. We get them, they're really common off our KZN area and up north. You've got, uh, they're often actually hunting in, in packs themselves. So they'll, a pack of them will sort of go and attack uh, a school of fish or something like that. They're going to enjoy any of your, your regular bait fish. So if you are going to be targeting them, um, live bait is, is except, works exceptionally well for them. But mackerel, red eye, sardine, choco. There'd be your four four biggies and obviously if you can get your hands on bonnies or sardas something like that to throw in a bit of a mix um, your distribution as i said common here of of KZN, but mossel bay to mozambique and, and beyond but really more popular in our in our sort of tropical subtropical area yeah they are like you said live bait works very well for them small sharks they often uh, go for a small shark or if you can swim a bigger edible, something like a springer, a bonefish, a, a grunter, if you can get it to swim far enough. Uh, there are a whole lot of other species that are frowned upon for swimming, but oh, they, they work well. A big shad will work very well, a garrick works very well, but obviously these are species we don't really want to be, be swimming. But it's up to you, your world, we're just living in it. Um, by the way, comment down below if you've ever caught a spinner or a blackfin, or if you've got a picture of both and you want to add a little bit of info there for us and yeah if you don't know please send them in we can identify them for you and let you know what it is because there are difference in the conversion rates as to the sizing so you can get a more accurate idea if it's a black fin or if it's a spinner so yeah the spinner shark a uh, lovely species very athletic strong hard runs you're really going to be using your heavy tackle for this and you're looking at your deeper water spots your points and then your beaches where you can get into that that deep water so, yeah the spinner shark cheers guys